hello student in this video we are going to look at a special kind of a sequence called the quadratic sequence consider a sequence n which is equal to 1 2 3 4 and other values which is a sequence of natural numbers and we are saying that if we square n we obtain the sequence law so we are saying that we are going to square n that is 1 squared 2 squared 3 squared 4 squared and the other terms is that okay so our n squared is equal to what is 1 squared that is a 1 2 squared is equal to a 4 3 squared is equal to a 9 and 4 squared is a 16 is that okay plus other terms in the sequence now we are saying that a quadratic sequence is that a sequence which involves squaring of numbers i repeat a quadratic sequence is the one which involves squaring of numbers the second issue is obtaining the first and the second differences between the consecutive terms of the quadratic sequence let us start with the first with the first sequence above we say that we are going to have one as our first term four as the second term nine as the third term and 16 as the fourth term the question is what is the first term of sorry what is the first difference between the consecutive terms the first difference d1 is the difference between these what terms therefore we are going to find the difference between 1 and 4 the difference between 4 and 9 the difference between 9 and 16 and the difference between 4 and 1 is equal to what yes a 3 good therefore the first difference is a 3 what does that mean to move from 1 up to 4 we added the what a 3 what is the difference between 9 and 4 9 minus a 4 that difference is a 5 what does that imply it means that from 4 to 9 we move the how many steps those are 5 steps from 9 to 16 how many steps do we move so that is a 16 minus 9 which is a what a 7 those are first differences now we need to get the second differences what is a second difference a second difference is the difference between the first differences of the consecutive terms how do we get them we are saying that to obtain them we shall get the difference between 3 and 5 the difference between 7 and a 5 so what is the difference between 5 and 3 that difference is a 2 the difference between 7 and 5 that difference is also a 2 now students i request that we observe the first and the second differences and we get some notes what do you identify yes observe the second differences make the comparison between them and observe the first differences and obtain the comparison between them five seconds what do you not good let us observe the second differences is there a relationship between the two differences yes that relationship is there they are always equal because 2 is equal to 
a two. The difference, sorry, the first differences are not equal because three is not equal to a five and five is not equal to a seven. Therefore, we should note that the second differences are always similar and the first difference are always different from each other. And the term beginning our quadratic sequence is always called the, the, the first term of a quadratic sequence. Example 1. Find the first and the second differences of the sequence below. So we start with a negative 21 in our sequence, a negative 3, 17, and finally a 39. We want the first differences and the, the second differences. Now, what is the difference between negative 3 and negative 21? Get your calculators and get me the answer. Yes. What is the difference, student? Good. That difference is 18. Is that okay? Therefore, our first D1 is 18, meaning that to move from negative 21 up to negative 3, we added 18. Yes? Now, what is the difference between 17 and negative 3? That difference is 20. Is that okay? Therefore, that means that from negative 3 up to 17, we moved 20 steps. What is the difference between 39 and a 17? Good. That difference is 22. Good. Now we need to get the second differences. Is that okay? So the second difference, remember we said that it is the difference between the first differences of the consecutive terms. So we shall get the difference between 18 and 20 and the difference between 20 and 22. So what is the difference between 20 and 18? That difference is a 2. What is the difference between 22 and 20? That difference is a 2. Now if we try to observe, we said that the second differences are always similar. Is that okay? There are four. 2 is equal to 2 that suits our first observations and we say that the first differences are not always equal is that okay meaning that 18 is not equal to 20 and 20 is not equal to a 22 good example 2 Find the first and the second differences of the quadratic sequence below. We have our quadratic sequence. It starts with a negative 5, followed by a negative 6, followed by a negative 3, followed by a 4. A 15 and finally a 30 is that okay so we shall get our d1 so what is the difference between negative 6 and negative 5 yes that difference is what what is that difference negative 6 plus 5 that is negative what negative 1 so what does that mean from negative 5 to negative 6 we moved negative 1 step so what is the difference between negative 3 and 6 negative so the difference is a 3 is that okay 
Therefore, from negative 6 up to negative 3, we moved how many steps? 3 steps. What is the difference between 4 and negative 3? That difference is what? A 7. What is the difference between 15 and 4? That difference is what? 11. And what is the difference between 15 and 30? That difference is what? 15. That is the first difference. Is that okay? Or negative 1, 3, 7, 11, and 15. Those are first differences. Now we want to get the second differences. So the second difference, the first one is 3 minus minus 1. Is that okay? Negative and the negative, they turn to be positive. And 3 plus 1, that is a what? A 4. Therefore, the first second difference is equal to a 4. We need the second second difference, which is 7 minus 3, which is a what? A 4. 11 minus 7, that is a what? A 4. And 15 minus 11 is also a what? A 4. Good. Now we are going to obtain or we are going to generate the nth term of a quadratic sequence as applied to other sequences. For example, the arithmetic sequence, yes, the Fibonacci sequences and other types of sequences. So we have the adding blow generating the nth terms of a quadratic A sequence. We are saying that we obtain the nth terms of quadratic sequence from the expression. That expression is the nth term is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c, where a b C are constants and N is the number of terms. Is that okay? Now to obtain the terms, we are going to substitute N is equal to 1, N is equal to 2, N is equal to 3 in our N3 term. Is that okay? Therefore, for N is equal to 1, we shall obtain the first what? Term. And how do we get it? We shall say that the first term is equal to, we get this one, we substitute in this expression, and that is a into 1 squared plus b into 1 plus what? A c. Therefore, we shall get our first term as a plus a b plus a what? A c. So we shall put it in our table as our first term as a plus b plus a c. Now we want to get the second term. How do we get the second term? We shall substitute this two in our nth term expression. Therefore that is a into 2 squared plus b into 2 then plus a c. So what is 2 squared? That is a 4. 4 times a, that is a what? A 4a. Plus b times 2, that is a 2b. Plus a what? A c. Therefore, our second term is equal to 4a plus a 2b plus a what? A c. Now we need to get the third term. How do we get the third term? We are going to substitute this 3 into our nth term. Therefore, our third term is equal to a into 3 squared plus b into 3 plus a c. So this is what is 3 squared? That is a 9. 9 times a, that is 9a plus b times 3, that is a 3b plus a c. Therefore, our third term is 9a plus 3b plus a c. Is that okay, student? Good. Now, we need to get the first differences. Is that okay? And we say that the first differences are always the difference 
between the consecutive terms. Is that okay? So we are going to get the difference between this, this term and that term. So that is 4a plus 2b plus c minus a plus b plus a c. So we open up the brackets and we get 4a plus 2b plus c minus a minus b minus c. What is 4a minus a? That is a what? 3a. Plus, what is 2b minus b? That is a b. Then plus, what is c minus c? That is a what? A 0. Therefore, our first difference is 3a plus a b. We shall write it in our table that our first difference is 3a plus a b. Now we shall get another first difference, which is the difference between the third term and the, the second term. That is 9a plus 3b plus c, that is the third term, minus the second term, which is 4a plus 2b plus a c. So that is 9a plus 3b plus c minus 4a minus 2b minus a c. What is 9a minus 4a? That is a 5a. 3b minus 2b, that is a b. c minus c, that is a what? A 0. Therefore, the second first difference is always 5a plus a b. Is that okay? Now we are going to get the second difference. And we say that to get the second difference is the difference between the first differences. Is that okay? So we are going to get the difference between this term and the that term. That is 5a plus b minus 3a plus a b that is 5a plus b minus 3a minus a b so 5a minus 3a that is a what a 2a and b minus b that is a what a zero therefore the second difference always is going to be equal to 2a is that okay now the question is how are we going to apply them now, whenever they give us such a question or they tell us to find the nth term of a quadratic sequence, we shall always use these values, the ringed ones. Is that okay? The first term, it will be A plus B plus C. And the first difference, it will always be 3A plus B. The second difference, we shall use a what? A 2A. I repeat, whenever they tell us to generate the nth term of a quadratic sequence, we shall use the first term as a plus b plus c. The first difference will always be 3a plus b, and the second difference we shall always use a 2a. Example, find the nth term of the quadratic sequence below. This is the sequence. It is starting with 7, followed by 13, and finally followed by a 23. And we are saying that we need to first get the first differences and the second difference. Is that okay? So we need to get D1. What is the difference between 13 and 7? Get for me that value student. Good. The difference is what? A 6. So what is the difference between 23 and 13? Good. The difference is a 10. Is that okay? So we need to get the second difference. So the second difference is the difference between 10 and a 6, which is a what? A 4. So we need to get the values of A, the values of B, and the values of C. Is that okay? So to get the value of A, we shall say that this D2, the calculated one, is equal to the D2 
in the table. Is that okay? So this is the D2 in the table, and this is the D2 which is calculated. Therefore, 2A is equal to what? A 4. We divide by 2 on both sides. 2 by 2, that is 1 by 2. 1 by 2, that is a 2. Therefore, our A is equal to a 2. We need to get our B. How are we going to get our B? We say that this value here is the second what? Sorry, it is the first difference. This value a 6 is our first difference. And we shall say that 3a plus b, which is the first difference in the table, is equal to a 6. Don't forget that we obtain our a as a 2. Therefore, that is 3 times 2 plus a b, the value is equal to a 6. Is that okay? So, that is 6 plus b is equal to a 6. We subtract 6 from both sides. So, we shall obtain b as a what? A 0. Now, we need to get a c. How are we going to obtain a c? Remember, we say that this is 7 is our first term and it will be equated to a plus b plus a c therefore a plus b plus c is equal to a 7 our a is 2 a b is a 0 and our c is not known 2 plus 0 that is a 2 plus c is equal to a 7 so we subtract 2 from both sides so C is equal to what is 7 minus 2, that is a 5. Therefore, we have the value of A, we have the value of B, and we have the value of C. So we are going to substitute these values in the nth term to get the nth term of the quadratic sequence. So the nth term of the above sequence is equal to our a is equal to 2n squared, good, plus we say that b is equal to a 0 times n, plus our c is equal to a 5. Therefore, the nth term of the above sequence is equal to 2n squared plus a 5. Is that okay? Example 2. Example 2. Find the nth term of the quadratic sequence below. This is the quadratic sequence student. It is starting with a negative 2 followed by a 2 followed by 12 and finally 28 don't forget that we said that to get the nth term of a quadratic sequence 1 we must get the first differences and the, the second differences is that okay so let us obtain the first differences so D1 is equal to, what is the difference between 2 and negative 2? That is a 4. The difference between 2 and 12? That is a 10. The difference between 28 and 12 is? That is a what? A 16. Is that okay? So we need to get the second difference and what is the second difference? Is the difference between 10 and 4. That is a what? A 6. The difference between 16 and 10. That is a what? A 6. Don't forget that we said that we are going to use these values to obtain the nth term of the quadratic sequence. And our D2, we say that it is 6, the calculated one. And the D2 in the table is equal to a 2A. Therefore, we shall say 2A is equal to a 6 by 2 by 2 
by 2, 1, by 2, 1, by 2, 1, by 2, which is a 3. Therefore, a is equal to a 3. Good. Now, we shall need to find b and c. Is that okay? And we are going to use 3a plus b is equal to our 4. Is that okay? Our a is a 3. Therefore, we shall say 3 times 3 plus b is equal to a 4. What is 3 times 3? That is a 9. 9 plus b is equal to a 4. We shall subtract 9 from both sides. Therefore, this 9 will cancel with this. Our b is equal to negative what? 5. Is that okay? Now, we need to obtain a c. So, how are we going to obtain a c? We are going to equate a plus b plus c to a negative what? 2, because it is our first term. Therefore, we shall say a plus b plus c is equal to a negative 2. What was our a? Our a was a 3. How about a b? b was negative 5 plus c. Everything is equated to negative 2. What is 3 minus negative, sorry, what is 3 plus negative 5? That is a negative what? A 2 plus a C is equal to negative 2. We shall add 2 on both sides. This 2 will cancel with this 2 and we shall have C is equal to a 0. Therefore, our nth term of that sequence is equal to, what is our A? 3 into N squared plus, what is our B? B is negative 5 times N. How about a C? A C is 0. Therefore, the nth term of the quadratic sequence is 3n squared minus a 5n. Is that okay? Now, student, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video for more about mathematics. Let us copy this question. Find the nth term. Find the nth term of the quadratic key sequence below. This is the sequence. It starts with the 4, followed by 9, 16, and the 25 plus other remaining terms. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video for more about mathematics.